On November 15, 2021, we announced some new results from the ASCEND study, and these results have concentrated on dementia and cognitive function. So uh, you will remember that patients took aspirin or placebo for 7.5 years, and we have an additional 1.8 years of follow-up for these analyses to ensure that we captured as many of the, the events of dementia as possible. So for these analyses, we have predefined a broad definition of dementia, which includes not just people with reported dementia, but other things that might um, imply dementia, such as confusion or delirium, being on drugs for dementia, or um, mem a referral to a memory clinic or to geriatric psychiatry. So what did we find? During the almost nine years of follow-up, we had, we, uh, had 1,150 approximately reports of dementia. And what we found was that among those people who'd previously been allocated to take the dummy or the placebo tablets, 7.8% developed dementia, compared with 7.1% among those who'd been allocated to take the aspirin. So that represents a 9% proportional reduction. So the rate ratio was 0.91. But the uncertainty around that estimate was went from about 19% benefit to about a 2% hazard. So that is encouraging because it means that it's very unlikely that there's severe harm as far as dementia risk is concerned uh, from taking aspirin. It also means that it is still possible that there could be a modest benefit of aspirin, but we've not been able to demonstrate that with these results. We also did a cognitive function test at the end of the scheduled treatment period. And again, the results of that suggested um, very small benefits on that, but not statistically significant. So in the short term, the um, implications of this, this is, it's not likely to change practice but if one was able to do other trials in which there were more cases of dementia, then uh, a possible benefit could be demonstrated. 